Hey everyone, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video and today we've got one here in 148 scale from Hobby Master of course we have ourselves a P51B Mustang and uh, this is from the 356th fighter squadron of the 354th fighter group and this one is called Short Fuse Sally as flown by Captain Richard Turner Turner was a Silver Star recipient and would finish World War II as an ace with 12 aerial victories and one of those being a V1 rocket he would also go along and destroy eight aircraft on the ground. He was in the Air Force from 1941 to 1953, and he would also fly in the Korean War as well. Uh, his name of his aircraft was named after his short-tempered girl that he did have. Uh, later on in the war, he would just have his aircraft called Short Fuse, um, because he did receive a Dear John letter. Dear John, please forgive me for what I'm about to say. Uh, for those of you that do not know what a Dear John letter is, it's actually a letter a man gets from his partner, especially while they're away at war, telling them that their relationship is over, which is kind of a shitty thing to get when you are away fighting for your country, of course. Now, the 356 Fighter Squadron would operate in the European theatre throughout World War II before being deactivated in 1946. It did go through a few periods of deactivations and reactivations, of course, and with its last reactivation being in 2019, it is still currently active and does fly the F-35 Lightning II. Now, we want to see our P-51B Mustang here, and we'll open up Short Fuse Sally and have a little look. Uh, that looks cool. It does uh, does sit in this usual Hobby Master packet with some details of the aircraft on the side flap there and this beautiful Mustang sitting in there. But of course it is no good in this box. How about we get this box open and get this Mustang in our hands so we can check it out. Alright, with Captain Turner's Mustang out of the box, it does come with a set of instructions which is pretty cool. So if you uh, do not have any instructions for your Hobby Master Mustang, you do now. If you, uh, of course, whack this on pause. And it also does come with a little baggie that does have the gear bay doors and some ordnance in there as well. That does look unopened. And it does come with the normal Hobby Master stand. I did buy this as a second-hand purchase. I think it was around $120, which isn't too bad. We'll get this open and have a little look at this big old 148-scale Mustang. It does come with the gear down options in the side here. And we'll get this uh, out does come out nice and easy because it is a second-hand model so all the popping's been done <laughs> we'll move that out of the way and we'll have a little look at short fuse sally let's see how she looks it does look fantastic we'll have a look at some panel lines first on those wings well there's some oh beautiful that moves nicely it's got some great detail Hopefully you can see the detail on there. And there's a short fuse, Sally, right there, as you can see. There is five aerial victories there on the side. Run down the fuselage here and have a little look. That is beautiful. It is another cool looking Mustang. Let's have a little look around this way. That comes up nice. It's got some great details. Beautiful. Those wing details are absolutely awesome. Very nice indeed. It's got some great detail on top through there. That engine detail looks really nice. The propeller does spin very freely. The actual blades, they do feel, they're actually cold, so they do feel like they are metal, which is really nice. Got some great gun detail there. Oh, well, we'll have a little look underneath. Cool. Yeah, obviously that's where you're going to put a little bit of your ordnance. Probably some uh, underwing fuel tanks there. And of course your landing gear will go there. Whether you're having gear down or gear up. It does look very nice. And those, that looks awesome. The movement through here, very, very nice. It's well done. And of course, you'll put your tail wheel option in here. Very good. And obviously, this stand will be going underneath through here. That is very nice indeed. All right, well, we'll chuck some landing gear options on Sally here, and we'll come right back and have a look at this aircraft in a bit more of a completed state. 
Alrighty, here we have short fuse Sally back, all uh, set up for in flight. Very, very straightforward. Just uh, three gear bay doors, bang, bang, and bang, and that is job done for in flight. And of course, you just put uh, your underwing tanks there, and they push straight in. Very easy, no problem whatsoever. And this is how your Mustang will look in flight, and it does look absolutely cool. It's got some great detail. You can actually, of course, if you want, take the uh, canopy off so you can see some of that detail look at the gauge detail in there that is really nice that is some great detail let's see if we can put this back on just as good as we took it off beautiful but um this is how your mustang will look in flight of course and of course if you do want to put it on the stand it does come with this three-piece stand that that piece is metal the rest is plastic and then you just uh whack it in that hole and it does rest on the front of the aircraft there um if you're worried about uh you know rubbing paint off or something like that you could maybe put some uh tape or something on the ends there just to cover that up so it's not directly rubbing on the paint and uh that is your 148 scale hobby master p51 mustang displayed in flight ready for your shelf or cabinet and it is a pretty good looking unit for sure and I reckon it does set up nice. And you do get a little Captain Turner as well. If you want to uh, put him in your aircraft, you can chuck him in there too. But I display mine gear down. So <laughs> what we will do, we will chuck some landing gear on this and we will go off and do that now. And we'll come back with this P-51 Mustang set up with gear down and have a little look at that. All right, we are back with uh, gear down. Very straightforward. You just put your little tailwheel module right in there. Just drops straight in, no hassle whatsoever. And then there is a little uh, plug there where that stand hole is that you put in when you're not using the stand, and that covers that up. And then, of course, the two little modules that you do put for your main landing gear, and they do drop straight in. They are complete, all one piece, the uh, bay doors, the wheel, everything, the little wheel well as well. That's all one piece that drops straight in and uh, on either side. So those two little bits go straight in, and that is job done for your landing gear. And it does have some great detail. It sets up absolutely beautifully. And it is another fantastic uh, release by Hobby Master, of course. And it does look absolutely stunning. This one does come up an absolute treat. And it does look fantastic gear down as well. So we will put it on the deck here and wind this video up for you, of course. Now... If you enjoy this little Mustang here, give us one of those if you can uh, click that button. And of course, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to be kept up to date with all our videos we do put out. Now, I will take some photos of this awesome looking Mustang and chuck them on at the end of the video. So stay tuned for those. Check those out so you can see this Mustang without uh, my hands all over it. And, it. and you can check out some of that detail a lot better. And once again, thank you very much for taking the time to check out another one of our videos. I hope you enjoyed a short fuse, Sally, today. And who knows, if you did enjoy the video, maybe that will help you in uh, making the same decision as what I did and try and score one of these. Let me know in the comments if you end up getting yourself a little short fuse, Sally, as well. All right, everyone, thank you so much for spending your valuable time and watching another one of our videos. I really appreciate it. You all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, everyone.